All right, so we're back with Diallo. He's gonna help us uh, shoot with slow shutter speeds and to show some motion and some blur. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually hold the camera still and we're gonna shoot and let the subject blur. I am at a 60th of a second. That's plenty slow for him on a bike to blur as it goes by the front of the picture. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot a couple shots of that. Go ahead. So that was okay, but I'm noticing that he's just blurring a little bit and it, it kind of looks like I accidentally blurred him, but I want him to blur a little bit more. So I'm gonna slow down the shutter speed to a 15th of a second and we should get a pretty good blur. That's, that's quite a bit slower. And that way it, it looks more deliberate, like he's blurring with intention as opposed to just a little bit blurry, kind of looks like a mistake. So we're gonna shoot that one more time. Go ahead. So in this case, we're blurring the motion. It exaggerates his motion. Other reasons to use a slow shutter speed and blur motion would be for creative expression, uh, things like water and waterfalls, getting that waterfall to blur and, and create a nice soft effect. Um, it can be a very good tool for expressing yourself creatively.